Hey, if you've watched us for any length of time, you have seen us test our ketones and blood glucose by pricking our fingers, getting a drop of blood, and sticking the strip in a meter to get a reading. Today, we're gonna do something a little bit different because we are using, or I am using, a continuous glucose monitor. All right, so here we, here we go. So we're gonna to talk today about the Freestyle Libre 14-day uh, um, continuous blood glucose monitor. Uh, and uh, we just put that on just a, a few minutes ago. Did it hurt? It did not hurt. It actually has a five millimeter long filament that goes into you and mm -hmm. into your tissue, which is about a quarter of an inch. I was expecting it to hurt, but I really yeah. didn't feel it at all. Yeah, well, you didn't flinch. No. So you, you, were, you were brave. I was manly. Yeah. <laughs> um, so this is um, a system that is, can, is available to anyone if you get a prescription from your, from your doctor. Um, I, I think probably diabetics uh, are, are the ones who would utilize this the most because it allows you to just take a reading uh, with just a swipe. I mean, do you want to demonstrate how yeah. that's done? So we've got a reader here and we've got the sensor. So um, we just put this on. I'm not sure if it'll pick up yet. It might. Well, I got to program it. English. I'm thinking, I'm thinking maybe they'll be. We will do this later. But anyway, you wave it here. It picks it up and it gives you a reading on here. There's also an app um, that I'm going to put on my phone that will give me a um, going back several hours. So I'll be able to see what's going on during the night. Yeah. Yeah, so um, in order to get it, you need a prescription. Uh, you, you have to buy two things. You have to buy the reader, which is a one-time cost, and with our insurance, it was around $70. Uh, and then you buy separate uh, disposable 14-day sensor packs. Okay. And uh, together, two of those, I believe, so a month's supply was about $50. $57, I think, okay. we paid. Um, it is waterproof uh, to, a, to a degree. So they, you can swim in it, actually, but they say you're not supposed to immerse it more than three feet deep and it, uh, you shouldn't be underwater for more than 30 minutes. But little things like taking a shower and things like that, that is not prohibitive of having it on you. Right, and I, I talked to a man at the pharmacy also said that if it would come off, come loose, before the 14 day time period is up, that, that Abbott will send you a replacement one free. Oh, so yeah, that's good to know. Yeah, and so you might be wondering, uh, you know, when we prick our fingers, there's a little spot of blood that pops up, right? And, and so those glucose monitors are measuring your blood directly. Well, this is in your arm, so and it's only a quarter of an inch deep. So this is not- Only. Yeah, I can say that. It's, this is not uh, going to be measuring blood directly. What it is measuring is interstitial fluid, which is the fluid that is around your cells. Uh, and so, uh, you might wonder, well, does that change the accuracy of it? it? It doesn't change the accuracy, but it changes the timing a little bit. So there's about a five minute lag time between when your blood glucose would begin to rise from, to when your interstitial fluid reflects that same rise. Mm -hmm. So it, it's only a matter of you know, uh, a timing difference. Yeah, so for a, a diabetic who has to very strictly control their blood glucose, they would have to be aware of that. You are not a diabetic. Uh, the reason we are doing this is really to bring some real-time measurements of blood glucose to you. And what specifically are we going to be doing over the next couple of days? Well, so I have always thought that I've had an issue with a couple of different things. Um, number one is stress. I think stress raises glucose levels pretty you know, significantly. So we're going to be traveling. I'm going to be in an airport, which is one of the most stressful things for me. I don't mind flying. I don't like being in the airport. It stresses me out. So I don't like able... flying, but airports are okay. Yeah, you're the opposite. Right. So um, we'll be able to kind of track what's going on as um, you know, I'm in the airport and then you know, relaxing on the plane and back in the airport. Uh, another thing that I, I believe I have a uh, kind of an issue with is dealing with high protein. If I'm getting higher the protein levels than I, you know, just you know the adequate protein that I need. If I'm getting above that. I think it tends to spike my glucose a little bit. I've noticed that in the past. So we're gonna do a day where I'm eating very high protein yeah. and kind of follow that. And the third thing um, is exercise. We really don't know 
what happens with my glucose, you know, if I'm doing exercise, uh, playing hockey, or if I'm doing more of a, a high intensity kind of, um, you know, resistance type of training. So we're going to pick a day and, and we have some things you know, plan to do like every hour and to kind of see what's going on there. So we are going to be bringing all of those results to you guys uh, on our channel here. So please subscribe and we will look forward to seeing you in the next video. And no more finger pricking for me. Well, not for glucose, not I guess. For, not for 14 days. Yeah.